me, Deja Sky from Pulse Rock Race Season 14, and welcome back to my channel. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> this is another episode of Deja Analysis. Now, the amount of DMs I got about you have to do Deja Analysis for the Lala Perusa baby. Baby, I was overwhelmed, but I'm here, I'm queer. Don't get used to it because I think this is probably the last stage analysis of this season. You guys, let me be frank with you. Let me be honest, let me be transparent with you. It's just a different oomph when it comes to all-star lip syncs and like regular drag race lip syncs. Like there's just no fire, especially with this season. I love this season, by the way. This season is Gore, Gianna, McGee, Sky. This season, the lip syncs are very just like, man, like they're obviously, they know they don't, are not gonna go home. So there's no fire, right? We're just going to do the Lala Perusa, and then that'll be it for data analysis for this year, but we will definitely be back for season 17, and let's get into it. Let's get into this data analysis, and before we get started, please do not forget to always compliment my makeup. I'm wearing my natural eyes today. Thank you, guys. Yes, I, I took out my brown contacts. <laughs> and as always, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get into this Lala Perusa episode 10. Woo! First and foremost, Dirty Diana, oh. Dirty Diana, oh. Dirty Diana. Okay. First lip sync is against Angeria Paris, Van Michaels, Van Winkle, Van Helsing, and Got Mick. So we're gonna see. Okay. No, you're never gonna get it. Got Mick, Gorgiana, gorgeous. Just, just gorgeous. When you are doing a lip sync, do not sing the backup vocal. Sing the lead vocal. If there's, ow, no, not this time. You gotta sing that like Angeria did. Cause right now you're in the background. Cause you're doing, I'm never gonna get it. We already know those lyrics are there, baby. You gotta sing the lead vocal. So already strike one. Angeria is giving theatrics. She's giving the, I'm a na -na 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 -na. here for it. Got Mick, I want a little more expression on the face. Just a little bit more. You're never gonna get it. Never, never gonna get it. Oh my God, got Mick. Got Mick. Got Mick. Why are you singing the backup vocals? Yes, sir. Hey. Jaria, my sister, killing it. I wish she would have worn a different hair. This hair is getting in her face. Hey. Hey. We all know these are lip sync songs that have been done on Drag Race before. If they would have walked to the back and they would have been never gonna get it, I think everyone would have been like, girl, girl. So I'm glad they took their own interpretation. Got Mick was like, legs. And she was like, ah, da, 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 da. love. <laughs> oh, why is the whistle sounding like that? <laughs> I think my whistle's broken. <laughs> Whistle down. <laughs> Work. Okay, so let's analyze this lip sync. So D stands for do they know the basics? They both knew their words for the most part, except for the lead vocals got Mick, but I'm gonna, but it, you know, at least you knew the rest, okay? So D is gonna go to Angeria and got Mick. Ding, 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 ding. E stands for emotional connection. That is going to go at Angeria. Got Mick didn't have one ounce of emotion besides is this song over on her face? Love you, Gorgiana, no. J stands for journey traveled. Um. I'm gonna give this to Angeria. She at least moved around. She at least had a little bit of ups and downs, you know. A stands for all the above. Was I wowed? Is this a lip sync I'm gonna remember? No, I'm gonna remember the Raven one. So A goes to neither of them, either of them, neither of them, one of those. Um, You know, vocabulary wasn't my strength. <laughs> Angeria Paris, Van Michaels, Van Winkle, Van Halen should win this lip sync. So next lip sync, oh, I already know this is going to be good. I feel it in my spirit. Next lip sync is against Vanessa, Vanjie, Mateo, and Plastique Tiara to When I Grow Up. Now, I was a pussycat doll doll. Baby, I had every album. There we go. Now, some people would say, Plastique, that was a premature reveal. Mama, my thing is this. If you know it's a reveal, she had on a robe. If you know it's a reveal, why keep it on for 50,000 hours, right? I don't think we talk enough about how beautiful Vanessa Banji is. Because I remember the discourse when the promos came out and they were like, where's her makeup? She looks so different. She doesn't need it, baby. She looks stunning. Come on. Ha, 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 ha. In my opinion, Plastique is giving Pusscat doll. She's giving the dollage 
of it all. You know, on the floor, head it back, hit the art. She's giving all that. Vanessa, I think she's taking her time. She's building up. She's gaining momentum. Oh, 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 oh. Vanessa said, baby, you're not the only body beautiful, Pustique. I'm not going to wear one bra or even two bras. I'm going to wear three. Why? Because it looks sickening. There we go. Oh! Plastique, we've seen you do the dip in every single lip sync that you've done. Ah, 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 ah. This song is already on the bridge. Already on the bridge. And I have yet to be like, y'all, this is when I grow up. This is a dance song. Yes, be sexy, all that stuff. All I'm seeing is a lot of to the floor and walking. That's it. Work, work. I know, we, okay, work. Sickening, sick. Oh, plus. D, do they know the basics? They both do their lyrics, cause they both, I'm sure had this song on CD. Baby, yes, CD. Emotional connection. I'm gonna give this one to Plastique. I didn't see enough on Vanjie's face. J stands for journey traveled. Um, I'm gonna give that to neither of them. I, I kind of felt it was a little same old, same old. Um, I've seen Plastic do two dips now, and Vanjie did a dip, but other than that, it was just hair flow. No, A stands for all the above. Was I wild? Was there an X factor? This is gonna go to neither of them again. I just think it was like, I've seen this before, and that's the problem with and all star because you've seen all their tricks. If my analyzation and calculations are correct, this winner should be Plastique Tiara. Next lip sync is against best friends, Chanel and Nina West to You Spin Me Round. Now, Chanel showed her age with this one. <laughs> I feel like it's in their wheelhouse. I don't think it's like out there, like, oh my God, what are they gonna do? I feel like they could both turn this. So also I love, Love what Nina's wearing. So, like, sorry about it. Actually, not sorry about it. I love what Nina's wearing. So camp, so cute. <laughs> work. So I work with Chanel at brunch. This is Chanel down, the outfit, the hair, the way that she performs, she has that like, this is Chanel down. Observation of observations. For the past, I would say 15 seconds, they both did this. About, I would say 10 times each. Nina, Nina. Nina West, Nina West, Nina West, Nina Camp Goddess West. Do another move, do something else than this. I'm just glad that they moved away from the judges table. When you're doing a lip sync for your life, people always wanna go to the judging table. Y'all, that stage is huge. Chanel's giving it to me right now. Chanel is one of the most expressive entertainers I know. It's all in here, it's all this, it's all this. Like. She's gonna be teaming. Nina is doing fine. Okay, let's analyze this lip sync. Do they know the basics? This is going to Chanel and Nina West. They both knew the words, nothing fell apart. Her reveal for the most part came off fine. E stands for emotional connection. That is going to Miss Chanel. It was all in this. It was all here. Here, here, here. Gorgeous, gorgeous. J stands for journey traveled. Um, I'm gonna give this to Chanel as well. Nina, yes, she moved around the stage, but I wasn't here for the journey. I just wasn't here for the journey. Chanel, you know, she kind of stayed in the same spot, but her movements and everything were just fluid and gorgeous. A stands for all the above. Was I wild? Well, there's a wow factor. Um, I'm gonna give this to Chanel as well. Work, because I was very entertained by this lip sync. Next lip sync is against Roxy Andrews, lip sync assassin, and Georges, lip sync assassin, to one of the most iconic songs work. I mean, right off the bat, Georges is giving Georges, Georges giving pose, musicality, hit, hit. Roxy's like, baby, I'm gonna go to the back and I think I'm gonna take this robe off. I'm not sure, I hope she's gonna take this robe off. I mean, honestly, Roxy's beautiful. I'd be fine if she just performed in a row. Yep. Yes, bitch. This is Roxy Andrews down. Roxy, can you make me one of these? Cause this to me is like stunning and I know you made this. Roxy just has a way. How do I explain the way that Roxy lip syncs? How do I explain this? She lip syncs like the rent is due without 
working too hard to pay the rent. Did I just come up with something? I think I just came up with something. She is performing like the rent is due without working too hard to pay the rent. Boom! What I mean by this is this. She doesn't need the theatrics. She doesn't need the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She doesn't need the dip, the splat, the boom, the hit, the bomb, the bam. She gives face. She gives emotion. She gives flourish. She gives a little bit of dance. And mesmerized. That's what's crazy to me. And that's what I mean by she is working as if the rent is due without working too hard to pay the rent. I'm putting that on a t-shirt. And then on t-shirt. Georges is, is gorgeous. Georges is doing Georges is doing Georges. I've been loving that Georges has been smiling a lot during her lip syncs this season. I've been loving that. Ah. Uh, Roxy said, hair, hair. Georges said, kick, flourish. Here for this. This is the best lip sync thus far. Yes, Roxy. Yes, Roxy. Yes, Roxy. I don't think I've ever done this in Deja Nelson's history. She won just by that move. She won just by that move. D stands for do they know the basics? Yep. Georgeson, Roxy. Work, divas, work. E stands for emotional connection. That is gonna go to both of them. I saw them both emotional. Obviously, Roxy was fierce, fierce, fierceness, just emotion. J, journey, travel, and I'm giving this to Miss Roxy Andrews. I feel, Georges does Georges so well. But with this lip sync, I, I was glued to Roxy. A stands for all the above. Was I wowed? Yup. Yup. I was wowed. Roxy, I was wowed. That hair. Use that. Use that everywhere. You guys, comment below. What has been your favorite lip sync of the season thus far? I really want to know. I really want to know. Maybe for a future video. Next lip sync is against Chanel and Vanessa Vanji to I'm Every Woman by Shaka Khan. Baby, this is the original. This is the OG. Y'all obviously remember the Whitney version, but this is the O. G. Oh, they both said, I'm walking to the back, baby. I need an entrance. I'm biased. I prefer the Whitney version because the Whitney version is a little more upbeat. And you know what? I, I like to dance. This is a little more just, you know, fine. Gorgeous. Shaka Khan legend. Mama. There you go. Chanel said, oh, cute. Do they know the basics? Yep. Chanel and Banji work. E stands for emotional connection. I'm giving this to Chanel. Vanji was Vanji, gorgeous, flawless, but this is gonna go to Chanel. J stands for journey, travel. I'm gonna give this to both of them. I was here for the journey. Um, Chanel was very emotive. Chanel was very down, up, down. Vanji was very side up, down. I was here for the journey. A stands for all the above. Was I wowed? No. And I, I, I believe it was song choice, in my opinion. It's an iconic song, but I just, there was no like wow factor for me. Next lip sync is To Groove Is In The Heart by Roxy and Angeria. Baby, love the song, love these divas. Let's get into the lip sync. Ah, uh, I know that's right, Angeria. Ah, uh. Roxy said, I'm using this hair. Two different approaches. Roxy is very controlled. She's very, I'm gonna do what I need to do at certain times. Angeria is just up, uh, up. Uh, up, bitch. She knows she's going against Roxy Andrews, okay? She needs to deliver. Oh, yes, Cha-Cha Diva. Hey, hey, hey. Ah, yes, Angeria. She said, slide, baby. <laughs> Roxy <laughs> Andrews. Ah, uh, ah, uh, woo. <laughs> for it. Here for it. D stands for D, they know the basics. Yep. Roxy knew all the words. Angeria knew all the words. E stands for emotional connection. That is going to go to both of them. Angeria was just having fun. Roxy was just face, 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 give me face. J stands for journey traveled. I am gonna give this to both of them as well. Yeah, I was here for it. Jerry used that entire stage and Jerry used that entire stage and so did Roxy. A stands for all the above. Was I wowed? Well, there's an X factor. I am gonna give this to Miss Roxy Andrew. She just has a genesis qua. And Jerry was turning it, but and Jerry was very same old. You know, donkey kick, donkey punch, donkey hit. So I'm gonna give this to Roxy. The final lip sync is against Chanel and Roxy Andrews. Now, if I am being 1000% transparent, and y'all can attest to this, comment below if you agree. When you heard Lala Perusa, who did you automatically think was gonna be in the top? Because I didn't think Chanel would have beaten a Georges or a Vanji, right? So I am so out of this and she deserves her fucking flowers. Are they both in an animal print? Did they plan this? Roxy Chanel, let me, I'm gonna ask Chanel. 
Did they plan this? Cause this is c t. Yes, hair. I don't think either of them took the go-to interpretation. The this is choreography. I think that um, hands down, Chanel was going for emotion. Chanel was just going for gotta. And Roxy, hair, hair, hair. That was her approach. Roxy's approach is hair. Okay, and I'm here for the hair. <laughs> Chanel said cape. Cape, let's analyze this lip sync. D stands for do they know the basics? That is going to Roxy and Chanel because they both knew the basics. But the words, come on, it's break free. E stands for emotional connection. That is gonna go to Roxy and Chanel because they were both. I was here for it. J stands for journey traveled. I was here for Roxy's journey, not so much Chanel's. Chanel's kind of just stayed in one spot. You know, I wanted Roxy's journey more. A stands for all the above. Was I wild? Was there a wow factor? I'm gonna give that to neither of them. I kind of felt like a little down, mid-tempo, kind of down. Nothing wrong with that, but I was not wowed in this sense, okay? So, if my analysts are, are correct, Roxy should win this Lala Perusa. I wanna say congratulations to Roxy, but a big congratulations to Chanel. She got her flowers, baby. Y'all been sleeping on this this entire season, and she showed y'all why she is a legend in this community. So you guys, as always, please don't forget to comment down below. Any ideas for the channel? What would you like to see more of? What would you like to see less of? That's kind of rude, don't see less of, because, well, actually, no. Comment below, what are you loving? What are you hating? Uh, hopefully you're not hating anything. Hopefully you're not hating me. Oh my God, did I just give myself anxiety? Just kidding, I love you guys. And as always, please don't forget to follow me on all my social media, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.